I live directly across the street from the garden and I've lived here a while. I remember when the garden was an empty lot and drug dealers used to stash the stuff in front of it and come by and make trades and deals. And since the garden got there, it has just changed the entire block. So when I saw that change happening, I was like, I got to get involved with this. Um, plus having grown up in East Harlem, I realized there's not a lot of green space and it's just nice to be able to sit in there and for like two minutes, you almost forget you're in Manhattan. It's like you're, it just transports you somewhere else. Um, once I grew um, birdhouse gourds, um, like up the side of a four story building. Um, but I that remember that. Having a, having a, um, a super squirter machine gun with powdered milk formula in it to keep it from rotting in the morning. So. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I didn't know it was that complicated. Yeah, but things like kale have always grown well. Half the garden is sunny, so sunflowers grow well, and like hot peppers. We have like two beds of regular, and then the rest of the beds are um, are pretty shady. Um, some things like mint grow really well there because they're sort of mm -hmm. almost weeds. <laughs> um, and, and shiso, which is like a Japanese herb, that grows there well there, and um, a raspberry patch that's sort of on the line of demarcation between. Uh, shady and sunny has 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 grown um there for years two years ago um my mom actually brought me to the garden and all i saw was just inspiration and i really saw what could come out of it right and i wanted to see how much i could do with it how much i could interact with the people that come in and everything I brought my friends there. I was thinking about ways I could bring my choir in because I know I do all these different arts. I sing, dance, all these different things. So I've been thinking about how to get the community involved, you know? I celebrated my daughter's communion. We had a party after her communion. And everyone in the garden that were members, like one person made a corsage out of some local stuff in the garden. Then um, I think we did some pictures and it was just everyone like contributed something and we had like a little fun in the garden and it was just mm -hmm. nice and simple but it was just like it felt very family like I guess we're just family you mm -hmm. know like it's like everyone's backyard it makes yeah. me I mean I'm, I missed Crystal's communion I'm like oh my god I, I mean her daughter's communion I'm like I have to give her a gift but even just hearing her say that reminds me of how this oh. is just sort of everyone's backyard like the fact that I feel that for my neighbor is part of what makes this place so special like, I'm like, oh, Christmas communion, where was it? It was in the garden. Of course it was in the garden. My son's fifth-year-old birth, five-year-old yes. birthday party. Of course it was in the garden. Like, oh, like, you know, the barbecue we have for Memorial Day where, like, yes. the neighbors show up. Of course it was in the garden. Like, there's, the garden is our own little oasis. Um, so there's, there's an endless number of, of memories. When you have kids, when you see kids in the garden, like, it just changes your perspective on the garden. Like, you see it differently because you see your kids – we don't see how we grow. I mean, we age every day, but you see it with your kids and, you know, how they've become friends through gardening and like how they're almost like siblings in a way, like, you know, they love each other and it's just amazing. And that's all from the garden, like yeah. straight up. It's just all from the garden. I just, I've got some rosemary here. I've oh yeah. Some cilantro here. Nice, Martin. And I've got thyme. I've got oregano. And last but not least, in the middle of the summer, I have basil. Usually by now, these things are just blooming and we're having to get rid of the flowers. But this year, because of the pandemic, we're just getting started. So are you planting those in the garden? Yeah, no, I can. Are we going to plant these in the garden? <laughs> I, have a, I have a little basil plant back here that I've been struggling to keep alive. Uh, but... yeah. <laughs> no, fight the good fight, Charlie. Keep it up. Keep it <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go in. We just waited some time because we were just really worried about the virus. So we're, we're sitting here ready to go, right, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> <Perfect>. Nice. <laughs>